Hello there, once again. And as you can see, I've got my hands on a second box of these small, nice crime packages of these five families. And as such, let's see what we can get out of here. So here you can see the code. It's a little, small, nice package. Also, once again, made in Belgium. So the mid class of the quality, as you know, American quality is more than often a little bit crimped or a little bit out of spec or such. Europe is mostly in a good spec, uh, good card quality, and the Japanese cards are more than often of a supreme quality. But yeah, let's see what we can get out of here. So, uh, definitely interesting. In this case, the Wizards of the Coast um, printing on the outer layer is on the downside, more than often, normally it's on the upside as far as I know. Yeah, let's see what else we can get out of here. So once again, the trusty old leather man, Damascus, really like it. And let's see what we can get out of these 30 packages, including one gala greeter. Feel greeted. <laughs> And now it seems here yeah, we've got it mixed up a little bit, so I don't know which kind of package has a four, four, seven, ten. So this one is ten pieces. We have five, five, ten pieces. So this one should have nine. Ten five and three for five. Yeah, we have our ten, ten, ten. So thirty in full. Let's see. Let's show. We are on the first package. I'll go in a little bit for you that you can see a little bit better. Now let's take a look. Up in Exilus, we have our normal cards. We do have our Common, uncommon, Liquid Magpie, quite typical, Glamorous Outlaw, Kreza, and Ognis, the Dragon Slash, with an Illuminator in foil. Normal type, and a small wizard. Go. First card, first Ognis, first Illuminator. Starting off with a treasure. And that's the Sphinx Raffin Shiming Seer from Johannes Voss. As far as I know, I do have some uh, secret lair set from Johannes Voss. Those cards are really, really nice to look at. And we have an unlicensed tears. <laughs> cool rare. With a foil on the other side. It's part of educators. Let me know. From my small fever point, uh, basic land and foil, interesting, rather rare, I think. Spit out the bag, out of the way. We have a banana plaza, corpse appraiser, and Xander's lounge. Nice, this card was one that I wanted to have. Psychic pickpocket, no foil, and as good as one of the lands that we already have. So, yeah, what I wanted to say, let me know if you want to have uh, some kind of background music or such right now, uh, as you know, in the last videos that I did, there's no kind of music in the background. Some like it, some not. And we've got our first mythic, Raffin Shiming Seer in the showcase. And a Structural Assault as a rare. So, yeah, I'm just parcel and foil. Quite interesting. So yeah, you can see it here, the Raffin Shiming Seer. Yeah, a nice little off-layered stamp or off-centered. Cool little card. Quality is also okay. There, it's a little bit white as far as I can see. But rest, yeah. Normally I'd say this one should be a 9 or 9.5 if you go from the grading side. So as you know, so the the point of getting a 10 card is pretty much uh, impossible. 
because uh, even if they are coming out of the box, they do have some minor flaws or something like that. Swamp and foil, it's nice. From Paris Craver. What a fantastic. This one looks cool. Reminds me of some games like Stalker and such. Brazen, we have a Rebel Rousing. That's a cool card. And a foil dig up the body. Yeah, turn it all. Go a little bit more inside. We don't have to... Ah, first this card. Let's see what we can get here. Do I have here? What is that? Is that a fox? No. Is that a honey badger? Also don't know. Or is that a trash panda? Masked bandits, trash pandas. We do have our first mountain. Put it down here. Ah, took more than enough packages to the full light lands. Interesting. Exotic pets, sunfish. We have a tavern swindler, tramway station, and a jetmere's garden as a fr uh, as a land. Nice. Second triome and a tamio as a list card. Also, nice little pick. The anti sacrifice. Cool, nice package. Up. We do have a next list card. Let's see what we can get here. One nice art card. We do have murder. Murder is always good. <laughs> At least here. Nice little card. Charm. Tibbet. Seller of secrets. That's a next mythic. We do have a Vivian. Darling. And a Otem Secrets Outcast. That's one of the secret layer cards. I'll put that over here. But Vivian and Tibbet. That's a nice pick. Double mythic package. Yeah, we can look with that. <laughs> we have once again the next list card. So this one was a good pick. We have art, we have a tramway station, master's charm, rocks gallery, sparse educator, sky bridge tower, and a corpse explosion. Always interesting if you have played uh, Diablo 2, for example, there's a skill. It's really, really nice. Uh, something like a little bit of a reminder of old days. Vernock, also one of the secret lair cards. Yeah, I would have liked if they have, if they'd have put up the, uh, the uncommons and uh, commons a little bit and still put up way more of those cards so that um, the value of cards still stays a little bit uh, on a better side and doesn't drop uh, like half or three quarters down like for the um, vampire that went out of Ixalan. We do have Masked Bandits, Tramway Station, Cemetery Temporary. So someone likes to temper with the old graveyards. That's nice. Little card. A deal on that. And a Sunfish once again. Interesting. Let's see. We are through with the first wave. And we do a few stamps. Uh, let's see what we can get. Is that. I think that reminds me of Scarlett Johansson. Nice lady. Really, really nice lady. Ah, really good. That's pretty much uh, three of the five small fetch lands that they have put in here. So, really, really nice. I really love those lands. Body Launder, nice. That's a mythic that I wanted to have. I'll put this over here. And Racker Travelers. Shield Counters. So this one is also a really, really good card. If you see it like here, the Body Launderer. Quality-wise, everything's good. Once again, as you can see here, it's a little bit on the small, tiny whiting on both sides. But that is quite normal. As I said, so that's something of the production uh, type, how these cards will be made. They are stamped out of a uh, big set, of a big size, of a big sheet. And um, sometimes it can get a little bit uh, damaged on a small scale. So that is quite normal. That's a, a simple like a production uh, set that has to be lived with. Night Clover, we do have a whacking. Racer's Ring, Waterfront District. Ah, oh, nice. Sparta's Headquarter in the alternative art. In the full art screening, really, really nice. A Facebreaker, that's one of the really cool cards. Also one of the more valued cards. 
because of the synergy with the treasures. Something like the cards with the uh, Doxa the Extortionist. Let's see whether we can get this card in Double Masters 2. I surely do hope so. So, Mountain and Foil, Inspiring Overseer, Broker's Ascendant, and a Broker's Veteran. Killshot, nice. I really sometimes like the names of these cards. So let's put it over here. Obscure Interceptor, ca Crew Captain, and a Spirit. Spirit set, but I really like this art style. I, ought, I wanna have all the rest of the fetch lands in this art style so that I can put up a full cycled uh, fetch land. Uh, not fetch land, but try on cycle style. In full art. So, Willy, we do have light them up. A Chrome Cat, really cool card. We have the Rakesh Revelas, Quezua, and a Wiretapping as the rare in this package. Riveters Unlocker, and an Admiral Beckett Brass as a list card. That's a cool card. Can still work with it if you play it with, for example, Marchesa as a, a commander card. It's fun. It's fun. Everything's focused on getting the cards of the other ones. <laughs> Our just the third uh, card from the full art land cycle. Um, yeah, really like those. In the first box, we I think had a little bit more of those up till now at least. So let's see if the rest of the other cards. I think we've had ten of those. We'll get up in the, uh, the next time. We have an extraction specialist and Rigo and the other, the alternative art, freelance muscle, and a uh, rulings card. Nice, nice. Let's open everything up here. Art. Artful, artful, artful. Hold for ransom. Garbage Tower, Masked Bandits. Ah, Lexi War. Always good to have. Always good to have a nice little Luxi War. Second one, the first one was from the other set. And we do have a Rogue. So we're going through. And for example, here you can see it. The quality of the tokens is a little bit uh, on the other side. So I think the, 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 the tokens uh, are done on a separate sheet in a separate quality side. Yeah. Let's uh, see what else we can get. Another Willings card as such. Heart from a bird. Birdie with the, gray, uh, with the golden cards. Don't know whether this was in... Oh! A Falco! Falco Pact Weaver. That's the second uh, of, the, of the familials, I think. Also looking really, really good. The alternative art. We do have a Ginny, a Ginny Faye. Check me a second. Fake your own death in the foil. Cool, cool, cool looking. I somehow think this package was rather on the good side of the mythics. Let's hope the rest of these packages over here will stay the same. We do have a signed version of the Falco Spara Pack Weaver. So, as you can see, directly over here. Looking good, looking good. That is over here. We have go through with everything. We have a cleanup crew, Chamber Station. I think these cards I have seen a little bit more in this package. Cabaretti and a Fight Dragging. Soul of Emancipation and Foil. That's uh, also cool. We'll put this over here. Falco Spara Pack Weaver. Oh, my God. It's flying and trample, you can do rather much things. Oh, we've got another land in the full art. Fortunately, it's not strangling us. Rocco, Sizzling Soloist, Botanical Garden, Boxing Ring, Topiary Stumper, and Make Disappear in a Foil. Interesting. Go cards. Put this over here on the common and uncommon slot. So, this is a little bit sturdy. Doesn't want to be open, it seems. 
Do we have, once again, Luxior, Daring Escape. Uh, sometimes I like these art cards, but to be honest, they could leave, uh, leave that out for me completely. Obscura Charm, Shimic Fence, what do we have here? And the Graveyard Shift and Foil. So, can see, we put out treasure once again. So, so many and more treasures in the set. And first foil forest in full art. So, yeah, you can see it here. Uh, reflects rather good. Nice little card, like this. But still, uh, they, they don't even compare, for example, to the special cards from uh, Neon Kamigaro, but, but that was really, really special. We're just attendant, patch up, discipline duelist, and we have a Rego, the Streetwise Mentor, with a Kurt Custodian and a foil, and as I said, treasure. And now we are on the last uh, staple. And so, pack. Number 21. To a small blue art card, so the Lagrella Magpie. We've got a full art mountain, non foil, for example, here. Demon Steel, Ruffin's Guidance, Nimble Lazarus, Racer's Ring, and oh, nice, the Angel of Suffering. That's a nice mythic. Nightmare Angel. If dungeon build will prevent damage and mill twice that many cards. Uh, let's go for a 200 card deck. <laughs> Corpse appraiser and foil. It's also a fun little card. So, package number 21. Uh, full art, some kind of angel, paragon of modernity. Full art, uh, foil island, a deal on that. At least not with this package at, uh, till now. Fleet for dancer. And a foil chrome cat. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so now, let's say that's a rather nice package. Let's see, I'm still missing the Obnixilis. But we still have some more packages. Uh, Sleep with Fishes, Seraph, Cut Your Losses, and a uh, Full Art Seatora I've seen. Cut Your Losses, we'll put it. Oh, nice. That's a Seatora's Proving Ground in foil. This is also really, really looking good. Swamp Mountain Forest. All the borders are really good and crisp. This one is uh, also still good, if you can see it here. Yeah. Back side also definitely on the really really good side. So this one's really good looking. This I like. Also, if you can see it here, out of box. So got a little bit uh, over saturated. Because over saturation is uh, when you can see it like that, the, 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 the foiling is on the uh, art uh, side. So if it bends in direction of the art side, uh, the, the normal paper side is oversaturated and pushes over the uh, foiling. So if you would put this card inside a dryer, for example, it would get bent in the other direction. So let's see whether we can uh, we'll do that in the future somewhere time. We have Womp. And with a little chat with us. Out of the way, we do cut off cut out of the profits. Hopefully not. And an expandable luck guy. With this, Ciatora's proving ground and foil. That's nice. That is really, really nice. I like that. So um, up till now I've got three of the five. Um, Full art lands. This is also from the fe uh, not fetch, but from the um, alternative triomes. So I think now I'm on four. I have to hope that I've got the last one too now. Trainway station, rarities, charms, <laughs> another Ziatoros. Can put this here and a ceremonial groundbreaker in foil. Okay, we still have five pieces. Let's see what else we can get out of here. 
on my list card. We have one of the five family heads, the Chetmere. Can put this over here. We do have a second swamp, Dusk Mangler, Lagrella, Skybridge Towers, and a Depopulate. Oh, nice, a Blood Moon. That's a cool, cool card for the list. Put this here, the Halo, and the rest over. Blood Moon as a, uh, as a list card. Yeah, okay, come on with that. Next list card. Let's see what else we can get here. A little bit of a family p uh, picture. Depper Shop now. Pyre Maestro's Charm getaway card. And I see the crew captain as the holo. We have a Sophia. Crew captain as the uncommon with the gilded foil. So let's see it here how it reflects and so it, should, it's, it is nice. It's also looking cool. Uh, you can also feel the texture if you go over here. Uh, you can feel a difference. Also, it's not of much of a difference. Still, that's interesting. I have a little printing. Unfortunately, it's just, uh, yeah, one of the uncommon ones. Not rare or mythic. But yeah, we have to live with that. We do have Foil Mountain. Uh, you can see it here. Yeah, it's a little bit shiny. Still cool looking. So, so for, for these kind of cards, uh, that's a cool uh, gift. Uh, Fatal Grudge, Cornelia, Seem Seeming Fence in the Alternative Art Style. Elspeth, Elspeth Resplendent as a Mythic. Adjusting with Metamorphosis as Foil. Okay, can live with that. So it seems in uh, each of these boxes, if there's an Elspeth, you will get a Luxior. At least for this first and this second package. We have planes. We'll go through the commons and uncommons. Glamour's Outlaw, we do have an Evolving Door. And a Capenna Express. Uh, so far. And now the last package. Let's hope for the Opnixilis. Also, it seems we've got really much and more for the for the mythics. Still, hope is not lost. Spider Educators, Tanaka Plaza, Endless Detour. So I think that's it with the Snoop and Yuzi. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we can get here. So. Starting Elspeth, Angel of Suffering, Falco, Eluxior, Admiral Beckett as a list, Body Larder, Vivian, Tivit, Rafi and Rafine. So on the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mythics we've got here. For a package of the cards here, we do have Ziatora, Ziatora, Spara, Jetmir, and Xanders. So five of the Triome Lands. Also nice for normal rares. A State Tour with an Evolving Door, Streaming Fence. We do have Crew Captain as a Gilded, so that's counting as a rare for me. Safina Depopulated Blood Moon, that's one of the bigger ones. Cut Your Losses, Rigo Fleetwood, another Shimming Fence, another Boxing Ring, Topiary, Soul of Emancipation Foil, Genie Fey Extraction Specialist, cool card, Square Interceptor, Profile Face Breaker, that's a cool card, Werner, uh, Werner that's one of those uh, Secret Lair cards, Corpse Explosion, Termio as a uh, discard, Rebel Rousing, Structural Assault, Dragon Lash. So, a little bit more than the expected 30 cards. And now for the art cards, we do have one, two, three. Ah! I've mixed them a little bit. <laughs> Those come, are coming over here. So let's see. One, two. This one also not. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten of the full art cards. So ten full art cards with two. Here is one uh, in foil. Oh, interesting. Not really foily on the side. This mountain was, and this forest was. So, so two foils and 10 full art on 30 packages. Okay, nice. Yeah, I hope you had fun watching and wish you a good time.